Hey guys, so I am really excited. I have my friend Donovan with me today and I've been trying to get him to come and talk about um, a, a specific experience he has invented called Amplified Yoga and it's, it's a mixture of Kundalini, positive affirmations, sight, sound, movement, um, it's a lot of ancient knowledge mixed into a very modern, super aesthetic, happy, beautiful experience. And honestly, if I want to recommend one thing to do, it's this, because it's like encom encompassing so many things. And this is a show about body, mind and spirit healing. So I wanted him to come on and talk about Amplified Yoga. So tell me, what is Amplified Yoga? So uh, Amplified Yoga is the excavation of the self mentally, physically, emotionally, energetically, and spiritually. It's uh, using the idea of self-study, which is called Svadhyaya in the yoga philosophy. So looking inward uh, and really taking a look at if you're living optimally, if you're living healthy, if you feel happy, if you are creating you know, to your full potential, if you are able to give and receive love freely, truly. Yeah. Uh, to speak um, truthfully from the heart, you know, to speak authentically, to be really who you are, uh, you know, but kindly, simultaneously, and to be connected to intuition, so your sense of direction is, is clear, it brings a sense of clarity. And, so, uh, and how do you, how, I know your thing is very unique with the positive affirmations, mm -hmm. Is that how you reach the subconscious of, of people? I mean, there's many ways, you know, there's many ways. It is through positive uh, affirmations. It's through, you know, directing the attention of your mind where you want to, having that ability. I call uh -huh. that mastery. So mm -hmm. you can direct the attention of your mind uh, where you feel it needs to be so you can create your reality because any situation is just a situation. But what you can control is your reaction. Yeah. Um, and then I use the ancient technology a lot as inspired by Kundalini. Mm -hmm. um, and so there are just movements of the body, specific angles, the way the tongue is touching the palate of your mouth when you're repeating mantras, the vibrations of sounds, yeah. those specific vibrations connect you to specific frequencies. So you might consolidate, you know, particular energies into your body. Yeah. So, you know, if you have been a person that has been wounded or the heart has been broken, yeah. you know, we know what that looks like. Yeah. Some people can barely get out of bed. So it, it affects you entirely energetically. So there are movements. I mean, the first thing of trauma healing is almost somatic. Mm -hmm. So I'm fascinated by your program because it's meriting all of them. Mm -hmm. So it's a really a game changer for trauma. I think. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know, and not to, uh, you know, I'm not tooting my own horn for, for my own, you know, accolades, but I just see how it's happened, and I've seen people transform immediately. Yeah. They've had a, a moment of inspiration, mm -hmm. and they can change direction instantly, and like yeah. I said, create a new reality. So I've had people that have been stuck in belief systems for a really, really long time, and those can be shattered. They can disintegrate yeah. in one session. I they do really definitely can. feel the transformation every time I've done your program. <laughs> I have felt a state of uh, transformation, definitely, for days and days, like in the state of my mind. Yes. Um, just, it brings so much uh, aesthetic positivity mm -hmm. when you do it, but it's super intense. It's, I guess, as intense as you want it to yeah. be, but I encourage people to go 100%. Yeah. Um, a lot of it is also pushing past limitations, the restrictions of the mind. I mean, we all have had an experience with that where the mind is saying, oh, hey, watch out, or what are you doing, or this looks fucked up, or yeah. why, and it's trying to understand why you're doing what you're doing. And this goes beyond the intellect sometimes. So I always say, you know, if there is resistance, oftentimes resistance is building just about as something is really beginning to pop. When something's really yeah. happening, they're rising simultaneously. So if the mind is restricting you, look at that uh, resistance as an opportunity for expansion and growth. And just, you know, I try to get people to see what's on the other side of it. And so if they are feeling like ridiculous or like what the hell's going on, it's just the greatest opportunity to just practice it in that safe space and create a very safe space to move past it and see what's on the other side of it. And then that bleeds into everyday life. Like, you know, if you happen to be in a job that is soul sucking, I mean, we're only in this physical body for so long. So we want to know that we lived optimally, that you created fully. So in the moment that you leave this body, you can leave it and say, hey, 
you know, I did it. I did yeah. what I was supposed to do. And that's what my hope is. Well, I mean, definitely from a person who um, has been able to let go of some of the trauma through your program, I mean, for me, that's the biggest thing. I know that when people are not aligned with their highest self, it's because of trauma. Always. Mm. We all want to be aligned, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure I entirely agree with that. If it's a trauma of sort, or it could be something very mild, or it just could be sort of ignorance. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know, true. Just that's like, true. just not having any access to that knowledge, or yeah. just having no awareness that there is a, a place for expansion or a deeper yeah. connection. Yeah, so, yeah. For, and, and I know you perform in front of a lot of people sometimes. Yes. How many people come and watch you and do this book? I mean, together? I've had in a session of well over a thousand people. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's more intimate. I've had as little as 30 people in a space and like I said, up to 1, 1,500. Yeah. And it's growing so quickly. I mean, I've been teaching yoga and, um, you know, meditation and this type of way of living for 20 years. I started very young and, um, and I've evolved with it and grown into it. And less than three years ago is when Amplified Yoga came through me. Just this, this creation, this vision. And that's also what I teach. Well, tell me how that did come through you. Can you tell me the story as to how you started to do this program? Yeah, so I, um, I was just teaching, you know, my more traditional yoga classes. And I had an opportunity, uh, a space, a time slot at um, a place called Wonderlust in Hollywood, mm -hmm. a great company. And um, they just gave me a space and a DJ wanted to do stuff with music. And so I had the space, I had the music, and, um, and I had people that were going to show up. So I knew I needed to make something happen. And I know that this was in me because I had done something similar with movement and expression and, 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 you know, years ago, but I never, it never came back. And so it was 6 p.m. on a Friday. I had to show up and it just, when I stood on the stage and the music started and the people were there, it just really started to flow out. And I would just, I feel I made a connection and something yeah. divine was flowing through me. It's also the culmination of everything I've known, all the teachers I've had, my experience in the theater, which gave me more sensitivity and empathy to humanity and, yeah. you know, and, and to energy and, and receiving it and understanding it. And, um, and so it just started to happen. And then I became aware very quickly that it was Kundalini. And I shortly found who was one of my uh, main teachers today. His name is Guru Singh. He was the right-hand man of Yogi Bhajan, who brought yeah. the Kundalini technology to the West. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I went into a deep nine-month training with him. Although my very first yogi experience was Kundalini over 20 years ago in wow. New York City, um, I knew I needed to go deeper. Yeah. So I was creating it. It was happening. More and more people were showing up, and I was going deeper into my own personal practice of Kundalini. So do you mind explaining, like, Kundalini... Um, for people who really don't know what Kundalini is? Yes. So Kundalini is a science, it's a technology to harness this energy that resides in the body. Um, to put it simply, we kind of take that energy and move it upwardly, generally, through the main river of subtle energy in your body called the Shushmana, the central channel of the spine, going through the seven major chakras. So a lot of us live down here in the base root chakra. Yeah. It's just our basic needs, home, food, you know, sex, all that kind of stuff, which I love. Um, but, you know, moving it upwardly, especially to the heart. So we just are genuinely living with an open, yeah. compassionate heart. That's a big thing to say. That's you know? a and, big, and it, that's you're the there. biggest. Yeah, it's big, <laughs> yeah. you know. But then also what it is is to connect you to the divine. So the energy moves upwardly and um, you connect to, to the infinite, to divinity, yeah. while still being in this physical body. Yeah. And it gets, you know, that is a simple uh, explanation. Um, Kundalini, you can use it like a, almost like a pharmacy, which I love because there are different kriyas. Kriyas are actions mm -hmm. for a specific reaction. And um, so it could be, you know, physical on the body, like, the, you know, if your adrenals are fatigued and you need to do something specific, there's a movement, there's an action that would help enhance and, you know, strengthen the adrenals. It could be more ethereal, like, you know, uh, expanding your auric, you know, circle, you know, expanding the aura, which is what you're projecting and what is protecting you. You know, and also dealing with things like trauma, dealing with yeah. things like rage and anger, yeah. or, you know, like there's things that... So it's basically an ancient technology of uh, navigating your moods and thoughts and energies. Yeah, we can say energies. that and becoming more conscious of it is the yoga awareness or becoming aware of it, learning how to harness it and ultimately to make that connection to, to the divine Yeah. while you're living in this body. So, okay, so let's go back to what Amplified Yoga is. Um, it's light, sound, movement, positive affirmations, 
explain why you ch like I understand sound everything is sonic Yes, everything Even is vibrating. The, everything is vibrating. If we put a sound on right now, if it was screeching, it would have an effect. If it was soothing, it would have an effect, and it's instant. And so we're very receptive to it. And actually, sound healing mm -hmm. is only now that people are starting to truly understand how... Get rid of the doctors. Go to sound healing, you <laughs> yes, know? Yes, Because basically, a, a vibratory um, frequency is gathers everything around you and in you in in sacred geometry really mm -hmm. yeah so if you can like start to work with what are you trying to gather in your energetic field you start to vibrate you send and receive you know yes. yeah so so we understand why sound is extremely important yes it can heal you it can heal you it and can we inspire you it definitely moves you um, it definitely helps to get people out of the head because usually yeah. music, the music that I choose to play is very uplifting. It's like intense, it's tribal, it's deep house type music, electronic yeah. music that definitely has an impact. And so and there's a rhythm to it. So you just start to get into the rhythm. And so the body starts to take over and I think it just drops you more immediately into the heart, into the gut brain. So imagine you have three brains, the gut, the heart and the, the brain brain. Well, we also know there's actually, um, there's a few things you can do for a mind altering uh, experience. Yeah. One of them is rhythmic drumming. Yes. It's you can start to actually trip out and get visions through drumming. Yes. So yes. that's kind of what and, what and visions are a big aspect of, of what um, I'm doing in amplified yoga. You know, I believe when you make that connection, you have the capacity to receive a lot of information and direction. So I open people up to be, you know, to listen and to get the visions of what they're creating, what they want to create, their future reality that they're magnetizing. And just to, to look and to feel and, you know, what does it feel like? What does it look like? What, what's coming up? What images? And to be aware of it and let it to, uh, you know, guide you and inspire you. And so what, um, so we understand sound and as far as I understand, sound is light, actually, but we don't perceive it as... Or light is sound. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. And frequency, what gives us life is light. Yes. God is the sun. It gives everything on this planet life. Yes. So and the light, and then the kundalini moving up through the body is light energy. Yeah. So it's like a, a warming sensation all the it way It can up, be. Yeah. It can be, yeah. yeah. Um, a feeling of expansion and connection. So, and then we understand movement, what that can do for you, but yes. maybe for people who don't really do yoga, maybe you can quickly explain <clears throat> what these different positions can do for you. I mean, all of them are working with um, the nadis, the energy, uh, subtle energy pathways of the body. So mm -hmm. the yogis knew this. They mapped this out thousands of years ago. We have 72,000 of them going through the bodies. They come together in the seven major chakras, the eighth chakra being the one that's around you. Um, and, and it's also the um, yoga of angles. So certain angles just have a certain frequency that you're connecting to. So you can harness the energy. Like 60 degrees is very specific, you know, in this breath breathing exercise. Pressing the fingers down into the tops of the palms, the thumbs up like antenna. Yeah, and by the way, you guys, if you ever feel depressed, do that. <laughs> you cannot feel anything but joy when you lift your arms like You lift that. your arms like that. There's certain breathing that you're doing. So you're activating the navel center, for instance, mm -hmm. and there's fire. There's fire there, the fire of transformation. This is dedication, determination. So you're breaking through perceived limitations. Mm -hmm. And you're just, I always say, we're, we're um, consolidating the energy of ecstasy naturally into yeah. the body. And we have that ability. And it really works. It really works. It really and so, works. and you know, and there's a reason why this is happening and why it's become so popular so quickly is because people need it. Yeah. Because it's people so are crumbling under the inundation of tension, pressure, and stress yeah. in this world. Um, our nervous systems are just adapting. We just took on that reality so easily. Like, there's this thing in our hands that's giving us constant information. It's connected to our body. Yeah. And, um, and so we're just adapting. And so people are crumbling. People are literally, yeah. and seemingly have everything, are, are taking their own human lives. They're, yeah. they're leaving their body. They're making that choice. And, um, you know, and depression is rampant. People are on, and I'm not taking away from the, the benefits of, you know, medications that help people. But I do look for alternatives before you would go <laughs> yeah. and down that path. This you know, is what this... listen, I know that's that saved lives. I mean, people in my own family have used that, and that's that's they're where they're at yeah. mentally, and that's where they're going to go with it. And so, if it's helpful, it's helpful, right? Well, but I think 
through good nutrition, most of the time you can do what those farmers Well, good nutrition, I mean, yeah, what are you consuming? That's also, yeah. you know, it's a question I ask a lot, just like in anything that you're doing, the next action that you're taking, is it amplifying you? Is it making you more potent, more powerful? Is it expanding you? Or is you? it doing the opposite? Or is it doing the opposite? Yeah. Is it depleting you, you know? Yeah. And it's fine sometimes, maybe you wanna, you know, you're gonna drink and, and, and have that good party night and it feels amplified and you, and you might suffer the consequences the next day, but you do it consciously, you know, but just to be aware. The awareness is the, yeah. big, the big the key and then you take the driver's seat and you're responsible for, for the reality you're creating. Yeah. Now, when you study all, all spiritual leaders who are trying to help people feel and feel better and evolve, uh, evolve and they always say number one, like, Edgar Casey, the 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 granddad of uh, um, holistic healing, he did so many medical. He's like the biggest psychic. I'm sure you know about him, American psychic. But um, in all his medical readings, he did like for I think like ten thousand readings. Mm -hmm. Number one, he recommended for healing meditation. Yeah, and I know you. You do amplified yoga, but you also lead meditation. Can we talk about why that is so healing? Yes, and just to be clear, uh, amplified yoga, within amplified yoga there is meditation. Meditation is full absorption. Meditation just means full absorption beyond time and space and that, and that cozy space of real connection, yeah. right? And so that happened for me the first time before I knew what yoga was when I was dancing. And I went out to a, to a club and I, the music came on, I was on the dance floor and I just felt the, the rhythm moving through me, there was no thought of before or after or what should be or what could be, it was just it. And so I allowed the, the energy, the life force, the vitality, the beat, the rhythm, the vibration to move through me and that was meditation. Yeah. Meditation, full absorption in the moment. So there are different ways to get there. Oh yeah. Um, you don't have to be sitting up even, you can do whatever. Yeah, you can sit, but you know, and I also teach something called Amplified Chill, so the whole session is just seated and guided. Wow. And so, um, you know, that's a nice balance because when you're doing amplified yoga, I mean, you can come in with anybody, anybody that you have, any capacity. I mean, a, a person came in the class, you know, two weeks ago that had been shattered from a car accident. So he wow. could only move very slightly, but he could still work with the energy yeah. that we're creating collectively. And it's super healing. Um, but to sit still, to sit with your thoughts, you're not at war with the thoughts. You're just becoming uh, an observer to what's happening. Mm -hmm. I'm always saying, you know, you're accepting, you're allowing. And then you just put your yourself into a point of concentration, which can be the repetition of mantra or a vision. And uh, you just keep coming back to that continually. And eventually that sort of even fades away into that full absorption, which is meditation. Yeah. And those are the steps of yoga, you know, uh, Pratyahara, the, the withdrawal of the senses, Dharana, one point of focus, Dhyana, deep meditation, and Samadhi, and, which is the ultimate connection. And now, so for people who feel embarrassed because they might be overweight or feel they can't like move their body uh -huh. and that it they wouldn't know how to do like something like amplified yoga anybody can do an amplified yoga mm -hmm. anybody can do amplified yoga anybody and particularly if you're somebody that's coming in with that mentality of well i'm overweight and i don't love my body mm -hmm. um or you continually taking actions that are unhealthy that are reinforcing that body yeah and, and actually <laughs> one of the mantras in his session is I love my beautiful body. I love my beautiful body. Yeah. And you know, and, and your reaction to that. So I always talk about positivity, negativity, neutrality, the three minds through which you perceive your reality. Yeah. So if you make an expression like that, a statement like that, I love my beautiful body, well, what's your reaction to it? Yeah. Some people really believe it. They're so grateful to be in this body. I am, you know, yeah, um, but learning, that's not for everybody. And there are a lot be. of it people. It takes time. It, it takes time. Yeah. And a lot of people are never comfortable in their skin. Yeah. But that's part of what I'm trying to help people to be. It's like, you've got this body. Yeah. It's a gift, you know? And um, yeah, yes. we're inundated with, you know, external ideas of what the perfect body is. But ultimately, it's your reaction to the situation, which is the body you're in. Yeah. And hopefully, I am uh, helping people to truly believe that statement because yeah. I love my beautiful body. Definitely. Because that's that radiates something energetically. And so oh, you're moving through the life more yeah. confidently. And how magnetic is that? Well, and we're so bombarded every day from, like, the media, Instagram, that you're not enough. You're not good enough. Mm -hmm. You're not perfect. You're not because that's how they sell you things. They have to break that feeling down of yeah. like knowing you. That you need something are, else. That yeah. you need something else. Exactly. Yeah. So that's like a super important thing to get people to feel good in their body. And exactly. The reason why I'm 
I do this show and I do the nutritional thing is if you're eating high vibrational food, yeah. you start to feel joy and you start to get out of depression and you start to want to move your body. Yes. And then you start to want to live and then you start to want to feel that joy and ecstasy on a more daily basis. And yeah. as you open your heart, you start to love everyone and care and want to like allow everyone to have that feeling. So um, I think it's super important to like embrace yourself. Yes. And in terms of what you're eating, I mean, I'm always just encouraging people to take little actions. What's the next direction that you yeah. can take to your vision of you happy and healthy, yeah. you know, and certainly it's like, what are you consuming? Yeah. What, what are you taking into your body? Um, and not just through the mouth, but also through the eyes and your ears and what you're reading and what you're seeing yeah. and you're surrounding yourself with, you know, um, things like that. And it's hugely impactful, but obviously we're talking about vibration, high vibration, healthy foods are going to have a major impact on your overall. I mean, it honestly, immediately, like, I swear, if I can give someone like one raw meal, it will change how they feel immediately. You fed me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I did your amplified yoga, yeah, I know. I know, so we're nourishing each other. And one of the things I've asked Donovan to do for all of you guys is allow us to film one of his sessions so you would be able to follow at home. Yeah. Um, that's so all coming. That's, that's coming, all coming yes. which is so sweet of you to agree to do that. Yeah. And really awesome to have you here today. And is there anything more you would like to explain to people who are curious about this? I just want to tell people that, um, you know, if amplified yoga isn't available to you, keep searching for something that really resonates with you. Um, and if you have an opportunity to, to practice with me to try amplified yoga, I will tell you there is really nothing out there like it. Um, it came through me. It's incredibly powerful. You can transform immediately. I've seen it time and time again. And if there's any resistance or any part of you that is afraid to step into something that's so uh, different and extraordinary, then really see that and take it as an opportunity. Take it as an opportunity just to, to practice safely what it feels like to go on the other side of that. And I guarantee you're going to love it. 99.9% .9 love it. It's not for everybody. Because <laughs> it, it can be a little confrontational. Like I always say, we push the boundaries physically, mentally, emotionally. So we hit the boundaries and that's space out of comfort and safety into the space of expansion and growth. Uh, an ultimate connection and I just hope that you're living life happy and healthy that is the ultimate goal that's the rocket fuel for what I do um, connectivity and to just uh, to amplify to make more powerful more potent and to just raise the vibration collectively globally that's the vision and I'd like to say for all of you who feel like you can't do something like this or that you can't make the changes like to a healthy diet or healthy thoughts or you know, just one little step, but don't give up something you love immediately. Replace it with something better so you don't miss it. Yeah. And that's the thing about the food I eat. It's so good. It's so delicious. It's so, it's like if I'm forced to eat like a meal that is not alive, I don't feel good after. Yeah, you know it. And when you start taking little steps in that direction, you build momentum. Yeah. And then the rewards start coming in. So you start to associate pleasure with what you're doing. Yeah. And the pleasure is a driving force to keep you going. And then you just want to stay on that path. It's like, you know, when you're exercising and then when you become used to that, then when you don't do it, you feel sluggish. Or yeah. your yoga practice, it's like you have well, a Well, then unhappy. Actually, that's yeah. the yeah. thing. Depression well, it's all is intertwined, the physicality, the mentality, the energy, you know. So starting with moving the body is a great way to begin to raise the vibration yeah. energetically. Yeah. So don't let anything stop you. Just 10 minutes of doing something like this that's going to change how you feel can bring you out of depression. Yes. Really, seriously, seriously. And I'm going to be providing a lot more content that's coming out so you can go to Amplified Yoga anywhere. That's where you can find me. <laughs> and, um, and then there'll be things that you can actually just do at home that you can start to work with immediately in your own space. And then you'll feel the, the response and you'll feel the positivity and then uh, you can make your choice. And one last question, yeah. where, you, where do you see the future of Amplified Yoga? What do you want to happen? I've had a very strong vision. Um, it's all happening. It's on, on fire and expanding so quickly. I want to take Amplified into the music world. I want mm -hmm. to take it out of the you know, normal yoga world where people are already open to this idea. People come together in music collectively anyway because they want to feel good. Yeah. They want to feel a part of something and the music lifts the vibration. We go to concerts, it feels yeah. amazing. I'm going to take it to those concert spaces. I'm going to connect it with electronic music and I'm going to have thousands and thousands of people in an audience working with sound, light, 
intention, specific action, and all moving together in a way that's just gonna uh, blow people's minds, break people's hearts open, and uh, and with that kind of momentum, that's the that the wave that I'm creating. So we're, we're raising the, the energy positively globally. Amazing. Watch it, it's gonna happen. I'm part of it, I wanna be part of it. <laughs> you are. You guys better be part of it. Oh, well, anyway, thank you, Donovan. Thank you. You're thank amazing. You. Great to be with you. Thank Thanks for all you do. For My everyone. pleasure. It's an honor.